Electric vehicles are undoubtedly becoming more mainstream, and even though they only represent about 1% of new vehicle sales here in the US, that tide is actually quickly changing, and that's coming from the help of a couple of different areas. Number one, governments are throwing in their support for the adoption of electric vehicles by way of tax credits and tax incentives. Other governments are actually banning the new sale of petrol and diesel vehicles. And the other area where this is being encouraged is automakers. Automakers are now offering more options for all electric vehicles, as well as plug-in vehicles. The statement that I see very often in the comments of my videos from adversaries of electric vehicles say that EVs are no cleaner than fossil fuel powered vehicles. That's because they say that EVs are charged from the grid and the grid primarily uses coal to generate electricity. This begs the question, are EVs truly powered by coal? The short answer is, it depends on where you are in the world. If you live in a country like Mexico, 80% of the power generated comes from non-renewable sources like petroleum, coal, and nuclear. China is in a similar situation, producing about 70% of their energy from non-renewables, 63% coming from coal. Even in a developed country like Australia, who has access to a lot of sunlight, it is still powered primarily by non-renewables, representing about 87% of power generation in the country. However, if you live in a country like Norway, 99% of your electricity is generated by water through hydroelectric means. They've even been investing heavily in offshore wind and underwater turbines. Canada too is investing into renewable sources of power for the country. As of 2016, Canada generates about 648.4 terawatts of electricity, of which 66% came from renewable sources and 41% of their renewable sources are coming from hydroelectric. For this video, we're gonna dive into the details of what the US energy mix is and just how much comes from non-renewable sources like coal. If we look at the graph of US power generation from 1965 to 2018, we instantly get an idea of where our power is coming from. The big blue line is coal. And as you can see, coal hit its peak in 2007 with just over 2 million kilowatt hours generated and has been taking a sharp decline since. This coal decline is in direct correlation to the natural gases sharp incline, taking over as the dominant energy source in 2015 with about 1.3 million kilowatt hours generated. When you compare all renewable to non-renewable sources, they represent only 16% of the US energy mix. So for those that say that EVs are powered by coal, really it's only 28%. It's more accurate to say that EVs are powered by natural gas. This begs the question, why aren't renewable sources better represented in the US? And it comes down to three words, supply and demand. Lack of demand keeps costs high. High demand typically drives research and development. R&D creates efficiencies usually resulting in lower cost and economies of scale. Remember the cost of early mobile phones in the 1980s? The Motorola Dynatac in 1983 cost just under $4,000. Factoring in inflation, that's over $10,000 in today's money. You can now find a smartphone for between two to $300. I expect renewable sources of power generation to follow in a similar ubiquitous trajectory. Here's why. EVs are powered by electricity. As more people choose electric power chains over fossil fuel variants, the demand for powering an EV at home will increase significantly. If an owner sees that home electricity costs are increasing, they will likely look into ways to reducing that cost. What is the most cost effective and efficient way for a homeowner to generate their own power? You probably guessed it, 
solar power and home battery storage. Electric vehicles will likely single-handedly drive solar and battery costs downward, resulting in a vehicle powered completely by sunshine. In fact, even if an EV owner opts to not install a home solar system, large-scale power providers are also driving renewable sources of energy. Duke Energy has committed to adding 700 megawatts of solar energy by 2022. In a similar vein, New Era Energy currently generates 2,000 megawatts of solar energy, 14,000 megawatts of wind energy, and has 100 megawatts of battery storage in their territory. Though some might say it's important, these companies aren't driven to save the world from climate change. They're driven by profits. Power providers are learning that after upfront costs, renewable energy power generators are extremely inexpensive and profitable. This expansion of clean energy generators only benefits the EV owner looking to power their vehicles from clean sources. So to address the question in the title of the video, are EVs really powered by coal? Well, if you power your EV directly from the grid, only partially, but that grid is getting cleaner and cleaner each year. If you choose to install solar and home battery storage on your home, your electric vehicle will be powered 100% by sunshine. And that is something that fossil fuel powered vehicles will never be able to claim. This is Sean Mitchell from All Things EV, and thank you so much for watching this video. And a huge shout out to my Patreon supporters. If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And if you're a regular, please hit that like button, and I'll see everyone on the next video.